Welcome to this walkthrough of highlights from MicroRangers, the new game from the American Museum of Natural History about microbiomes and threats to global biodiversity. To play, all you need is this app and this communicator coin. Let's go. Let's see where MicroRangers is going to take us today. Go to the Hall of Ocean Life. All right. Let's see. We're just going to... Oh, it found us. I need to hold up my coin. Micro Ranger, welcome to the ocean habitat. Our next micro crisis distress call is just coming in now from water quality scientist Dr. Lumen. I'm Dr. Lumen. I study bioluminescence at the Winter School of Marine Biology. I'm very excited for the grand opening of our new building located directly on a stretch of coast famous for its beautiful bioluminescent blue-green organisms. But there's a serious problem. Ever since the last big rainstorm, the bioluminescent microorganisms stop glowing. Microranger, can you use your special abilities to help me figure out what's causing this lights out situation? Microranger, it's time to get wet and find the source of this power outage. First, use your microscanner to find the blood belly comb jelly. Then it's time to help Dr. Lumen solve the case of the bioluminescent blackout. All right, I need to use my micro scanner. There it is on the screen. And if I zoom in on the map, ah, it's showing me where to go. All right, so let's walk over there. I go this way. There's the whale, so I know to turn right. Now, when I use my coin, I can use the coin. I can use either side of the coin. I can also use the postcard or anything, even like this shirt that has the image. Oh, now it's showing me what to look for. I'm looking for this. Blood belly squid. I'm looking in the display case. There it is. It's lined up. Lined up just right, and then I hit scan. Got it. Oh, get to the coin. Okay. Welcome aboard, Micro Ranger. Thank you. Often problems that show up in one part of a habitat originate somewhere else. I think we should start by taking a look at the area around the new school building and see if anything seems fishy. In front of you are a few examples of bioluminescent deep sea creatures. Snap a photo of the one you like best as a reminder about what a healthy glowing creature looks like. Okay, I'm going to go to my micro camera and photograph something in here that's showing a healthy example of what... Um, bioluminescent life looks like. All right, I'm going to tap to focus. That looks good. All right. I'm not going to send this up to Flickr or Twitter, but I could. And if you do, I'll see it. Use photo. Oh, back to our scientist. Nice work. Hopefully, by the time we're finished, all the local bioluminescent creatures will be back to glowing just like that. Everything was fine in the bay until the last big rainstorm. Maybe something happened during the storm that affected the ocean. I think you should test that hypothesis by using your micro size to travel inside a bioluminescent creature, like the bobtail squid that lives closer to shore, and see what might be dampening a microorganism's glow. Use the identification tool in your toolkit. Okay, go to my toolkit and go to... There we go. All right. Ready. Dive into the water and identify the problem. Go. Micro Ranger, find a bobtail squid to explore the microorganisms the inside. Squid. Then tap to learn what's right. gumming up their glow. Uh, all right. The squid's on the water. I'm going to look at the water. There it is. Tap. And now we're going underwater and there are bobtail squids all over the place. I want to go investigate this one. Whoa, okay, I have 30 seconds. There's all this pollution and there's the photobacteria. They glow nicely when there's no pollution around them, but when they're covered, they don't glow. There we go. But if I tap, I can push all this pollution away and that shows me that the pollution prevents the, for some reason, it prevents these photobacteria from actually glowing. There's some connection between the two. And what I can do right now is investigate that relationship. I'm looking down, I'm looking up. Oh, it's done. How'd I do? Good job, it says. What does the scientist say? 
Whoa, did you see what happened inside the squid just now? Yeah. When those hydrocarbons were nearby, the squid's bacteria became wheezing and dark. But once the pollution cleared, they could breathe again and lit back up. Perhaps the same thing happened at the school. My guess is that the school parking lot, which is next to the ocean, created the perfect ramp for hydrocarbon pollution from cars to seep into the ocean in the rainwater runoff. When the pollution drained into the ocean, it became harder for light-producing bacteria to breathe. That's the source of our bioluminescent power outage. We're very close to solving this micro-crisis. Use your collection tool to tap the pollution to make it disappear. Okay, now I can use my collection tool to not just push the pollution away, but actually collect it. Okay. Eliminate toxins, okay? Micro-Ranger, you know what to do. Tap to send cleansing waves to sweep away the pollution. Oh, I see. So now instead of the pollution being pushed away, now when I'm tapping, I'm actually collecting it and clearing it out of the water, helping the floor bacteria. But it's time. I have to get them all done by going up and down and right and left. I think I can do it. I think I got it. I think I got it below the target I need. There's still six seconds left. There's still some pollution left. Come on, come on. Can I do it? Yes! Okay. Fantastic job! You removed the pesky pollutants from the parking lot rainwater. To make sure that this doesn't happen every time there's a rainstorm, I'll talk to the school about building a strip of grass between its parking lot and the ocean. That will create a permanent barrier to keep the ocean safe from hydrocarbons whenever it rains. I'm so delighted about this, <laughs> Micro Ranger. Delighted. Bravo, Micro Ranger. You completed this mission and Dr. Lumen is practically glowing with excitement. Now you can use your new experience tackling habitat destruction to save the day in other microbiomes. I predict a bright future ahead for every organism, especially you. So this is just one of nine different micro crises, but let's go take a look at a, what a piece of the boss level looks like. So if I wanted to, I could have stopped after resolving my first micro crisis. But if I want to get into a little more complicated gameplay and a little more sophisticated science, I'm going to come here to the Extinction Circle. Oh, my coin. Can't forget my coin. Five times in Earth's history, cataclysmic events wiped out a large proportion of all species on the planet. This circle commemorates these five mass extinctions. Back then, Natural disasters caused Earth's habitats to change so quickly that life forms could not adapt and extinction became the order of the day. Today, species are becoming extinct at a faster than normal rate. At headquarters, we created a computer simulation that shows what will happen if nothing changes. To take a look, standing on or near the extinction circle, look at the habitat wall in front of you. Center the photo of the whales and tap on them. All right, so there are the whales. Line it up. When healthy, these habitats are teeming with thriving biodiversity. During a mass extinction, they'll instead become wastelands. Are you ready for a tour of the future? Follow me, but be quick. We don't have much time. Coral reefs have bleached and died. Deforestation has laid waste to tropical rainforests. Pollution has ruined wetlands. Nuclear dumping sites have irradiated the deserts. Whales no longer swim in the ocean. They've become extinct. Logging has caused species to go extinct in the temperate forests. Mining has ruined the frozen tundra. Farmlands have replaced essential grasslands. Rising sea levels have obliterated islands where life once flourished. So that's a short walkthrough of highlights for Micro Rangers. If you want to see more, come to the museum and play. We hope to see you here soon.